Maiduguri, the capital of Borno State, is providing refuge to over a million displaced people. And as the Nigerian army regains control of the main towns and some villages in the state, more and more people continue to arrive. Malnutrition is so rampant in Maiduguri because of the presence of the insurgents Boko Haram. This has stopped people from cultivating crops. They haven't been going to their farms for quite some time. This resulted in shortage of food and subsequently uh, malnutrition kicked in as a result of food scarcity. Health facilities in Maiduguri are overwhelmed, unable to cope with the medical needs of the city's residents as well as the displaced and patients transferred from other towns in Borno such as Bama and Dikwa. We are continuously piling up people who have been discharged but we have got nowhere to take them. We can't take them back to Bama, we can't take them back to Dikwa because the situation there is catastrophic. Recaptured in recent months, some of these towns were held by Boko Haram for two years. Security remains high, but MSF teams are able to travel to them under army escort. For example, to Bama, the second largest town in the state, where the mortality rate exceeds the emergency threshold. 15% of children in Bama are suffering from severe acute malnutrition. Behind me, as you see here, is a graveyard where they buried the mortality cases. Most of the cases died because of hunger and lack of water. And then followed by lack of medicine. Before the NGOs will intervene, no helping hands. Grouped together on the hospital premises, Barmer's inhabitants are lacking everything. There's a desperate need for humanitarian aid in places like Bama. Many people's lives are in danger. They need immediate medical assistance in order to survive. For many, it's a matter of days or hours even. There are thousands, or rather tens of thousands of people among the 500 to 800,000 people living in similar conditions on 20-odd sites in Borno State. While aid and emergency medical care is now getting through to some towns in Borno State, other places are still totally inaccessible. Few people we've seen who have managed to get out or talk of huge difficulties to find food and of ongoing insecurity. But we can't actually reach many of these people. We have no idea how many people there are, but we believe they're in very harsh conditions and we hope to be able to access them soon. Some of those who managed to escape the conflict have sought refuge across the border in Cameroon. MSF teams there are treating the wounded, providing mother and child health care and offering mental health support too. Boko Haram militants hit and killed people by cutting their throats. As soon as they arrived, they started killing people, slitting their throats and making women and children watch as they did so. They killed anyone over the age of 15, men and women. MSF is scaling up its activities to help the people of Borno State. Water, food, medical care and shelter for hundreds of thousands of people, the needs are huge.